Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to another battle vid. Now this one is between the Galaxy Note 9 and the Huawei P20 Pro. Both of them are flagship devices. One has three lenses, the other has two, but the P20 Pro is well known for its low light photography. It's done well this year. My buddy Marion Sell has loved, uh, his loves the P20 Pro. Definitely check out our video on that if you're interested in see a professional photographer's breakdown of this device. Now, the new Galaxy Note 9 is out. It's got scene detection built into it and it's taking some really solid photos. So how does it compare in low light, not anything else, not in daytime, no video. This is strictly low light. So what we decided to do is take, of course, our lovely Funko Iron Spider, take him out uh, into some low light settings and some settings are extreme low light and see how well it handles. So let's go ahead and find out. So looking at the at both pictures, the Note 9 has more of the natural background color. I have some hue lights and that shows while the P20 Pro goes ahead and brightens the image up more. As you can see, the Note 9 still keeps a lot of that uh, color of Spider-Man, red, the gold. The uh, P20 is a little bit dull down. Now, when we move over to night mode on the P20, the image is much sharper, much cleaner as well. Uh, less, of course, noise as opposed to the other two images. So you can see what the night mode does here for the P20 Pro. But the Note 9 is still doing pretty well. Now we go to this other image here where Spider-Man, uh, Iron Spider is sitting on top of a red walk. Now the red walk and Spider-Man on the Note 9 look really red and also keep some of that hue colored background I have. And while the P20 Pro basically makes it as bright and sharp as possible. So you can see the difference there, but uh, I think the P20 Pro looks a little bit more clearer here. And when we go over to night mode, you can see how sharp and clear it is. The colors are dulled down a little bit. So the red of the walk is not as red. The gold doesn't stand out as much as well as also Spider-Man's red is a little bit toned down, but the image is much clearer. Now, when we look at this extreme mode here, uh, now this could go either way. Uh, you can see more of Spider-Man on the P20 Pro, while on the Note 9, you can barely see Spider-Man. You can see the white of his eyes and you can see some of the structure. Now, the Note 9 image looks at least cleaner, less noise, but the P20 Pro looks like it gives you a better look at Spider-Man. And when we go into night mode, which should have done better, I can see more of the image, but um, I wasn't I wasn't too happy with this result for night mode because usually you get a better result. But I just wanted to show you guys just to show you what night mode did in the situation. Now when we move outside, this one is really interesting. The the Note 9 here uh, brings in a lot of colors. You can see the colors still say of the buildings, the lights, um, and also everything's really clear in nighttime. While the P20 Pro dulls things down, but still is a sharp image as well. Um, I didn't do a, um, a nighttime mode here, but this other image here is one that's really interesting for the Note 9 and the P20 Pro. As you can see, uh, the Spider-Man on the Note 9 looks really red, the colors are vibrant. Again, it's a low light situation, there's a light source far away. While the P20 Pro uh, is much sharper detail, especially on the table, you can see that. And if we move over to the night mode for this, you can definitely see the, the bridges on the table. Uh, you can see Spider-Man quite clearly. Uh, night mode does this really well. Well, but again, the colors do drop down. Now, our last set of images are actually of myself using the red camera of both devices. Uh, of course, using, of course, the S Pen to take uh, images on the Note 9. Uh, and um, looking at that, I can it's really clear and sharp. You can see me well. There's more color to my skin tone. You can see different hues, while the P20 Pro has a more muted look for me. So I have a more grayscale look, but it looks a little bit brighter. The second image here, um, the P20 Pro lights me up much more while well, you can see more shadow and darkness on the uh, Note 9, but I still also look pretty clear on the Note 9 as well. It looks more stylish while the P20 is much more uh, defining of my look. So there you have it. So as you can clearly see, both devices do really well. Now the P20 Pro I think does a little bit better in really low light situations, especially because of course you have that 
uh, night mode, which of course you can hold. It's a long exposure and you can actually just hold it in your hands and do that as opposed to the Galaxy um, Note 9. But the Note 9 really does a good job either way. Now, what I noticed is that when it comes to low light photography in general, the, uh, the Huawei was able to give you more texture around the surface while the Galaxy Note 9 gave you more realistic look. While we try to brighten it up a little bit more, uh, Samsung tried to brighten it up, but still keep some of the background colors, like uh, of course my purple hue lights, which showed up more in some of the photos than it did with um, the uh, P20 Pro. So I think in this case, the P20 gets the slight edge, but not by much in my thinking. What do you guys think? Uh, you've seen the photos. What do you think they both land? I think Samsung has done a really good job in catching up, especially with just a six months gap, especially using our scene detection. But what do you think? Let me know. So guys, thank you very much. Don't forget to like and share this video. Favor this video, subscribe to the channel. Once you do, hit that notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. This is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment. Thank you.